Jesus is running after, it's running after me. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. With my life laid down, I'm surrendered now. I give you everything. Your goodness. All my life you have been faithful, sing it to him. And all my life you have been faithful. Glory to God. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness. Come on, sing it to him again. All my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been faithful. We love you this morning, oh God. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every prayer that I am able, I will sing of the goodness. Oh God. Come on, lift your voices and sing it with me, church. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. With my life laid down, I'm surrendered now. I give you everything. Your goodness. Good morning, and welcome to another morning prayer broadcast. As you can see, I am not Pastor Sean. I'm filling in for him today. My name is Mark Zimmerman. Uh, many of you know my brother Jeffrey and his wife Melanie. You've spoken to them on the phone on countless occasions. And uh, Jeff and I have known Pastor Sean and Pastor Amy for a long time, over 25 years. And they are such a wonderful man and woman of God. They're a dynamic husband and wife team. They love Jesus with all their hearts. They love their family. They love us like, like we're family. And they love all of you, wonderful saints of the Most High God. Thank you so much for tuning in this morning. We really appreciate y'all every morning. And we really enjoy uh, coming before you upon this platform. Me and my beautiful wife, Bernadine, want to let you know that we, we are just so honored and so privileged and uh, humbled to be able to be on this platform sharing the Word of God with all of you. So we want to join our faith with you this morning in um, whatever you are believing God for, and we want to believe with you to receive your miracle or receive whatever you're believing for God to do for you. So let's go ahead and open up with a word of prayer. We're still continuing in our series the miracles of Jesus. Always exciting. We love the miracles of Jesus. So let's go ahead and pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, God. We thank you for your presence on this morning, Lord. We thank you for your wonderful people who are watching right now. We thank you for your word. And we pray right now, God, that you just open our eyes, open our ears, give us ears to hear, and hearts to respond, Lord to what you are giving us this morning. Lord, let this word shoot straight into our hearts, Lord Jesus, and give us confidence and give us victory over everything that the devil tries to throw at us. We thank you, God, for the victory already won. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. My title today, you're gonna like this one. The devil ain't got no say in your situation. I'm gonna say that again. Because I need to hear that again. I mean, I don't know about you. I like hearing that. The devil ain't got no say in your situation. Amen. We're going to go to uh, Luke chapter 13, verse 10. Start off with that. So t Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. So he was invited to preach at the synagogue. And if you pay attention to many of the scriptures where he is invited to do so, you'll see um, he would keep his atmosphere crackling 
with the power to heal people. Yeah, it was back in like Luke five seventeen. He always kept his kept his atmosphere saturated. There was always a high expectation and high faith for healing to happen. So you can imagine that as he taught, I'm, I'm building I'm building up a picture here for y'all. I'm building up build, building up the the atmosphere. The people's faith was building in this church service. It was mounting, getting thicker, rising, intensifying. And right in the midst of this Holy Ghost saturated service, behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years. And she was bowed together, the Bible says, and could in no wise lift up herself. Did you just read what I read? 18 years. That is a long time to be bowed over, amen? By this punk demon. If she were alive today in, in this year, that would mean she would have had this condition since 2004. That is a long time. But that devil chose the wrong day to show up in church. And when Jesus saw her, <laughs> don't worry, by the way, don't worry about God finding you in your situation. Jesus can spot you in a crowd. He can see what you're dealing with, and he's already zeroed in on you like he zeroed in on this woman, like a, like a laser sight. He sees you. And what did he do? He called her to him. Uh-oh. This devil was really in trouble now. <laughs> I can almost hear that spirit of infirmity like shrieking out in protest. No, don't go to Jesus, No. But this woman, <laughs> remember, <laughs> she's in church. She's full of faith, yeah. right? She's full of faith and expectation. Yeah. So she obeyed Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's always dangerous for the enemy when we, when we obey Jesus. Amen? Amen. Amen. Just keep obeying. That's all you do. She walked, hobbled, and shuffled right up to Jesus. And that spirit of, inf of infirmity couldn't do one thing about it. Amen. <laughs> oh, he's in trouble. Believe me. Do any of you out there feel outnumbered by your enemy? Does that devil have you beat down or bowed over like this lady? So bad you feel like you can't even put up a resistance? I'm here to tell you this morning, fight back. The devil's a liar. You're fighting a defeated foe. The resurrected Jesus said in Matthew 28, 18, I have been given all power in heaven and on earth and authority so if jesus has all the power you know i wasn't good at math in high school but i mean i, I can i can figure that out if jesus has all the power who, what's that leave the devil with nothing not one thing and that means he doesn't have anything to threaten you with he's all hot air that's all the devil is galatians 2 20 tells us that the Lord Jesus Christ, with all power in his hands, wait for it, liveth in you. He liveth in me. 1 John 3, 8 says, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. And he lives in you. And he lives in me. Amen? Do you have an infirmity like this woman? Maybe even a crippling situation that seems so overwhelming, it just seems like the devil has stacked everything on top of you? Do you feel, feel so buried, far beneath the surface, you can't even see the light of day anymore? Then Jesus is saying to you this morning what he said to that woman so long ago. Jesus said unto her, Woman, thou art loosed from thine infirmity. <laughs> he not only spoke it, verse 13 says, And he laid his hands on her. Jesus first told the woman, Thou art loosed from thine infirmity. Then he laid his hands on her. Hallelujah! That old wicked spirit of infirmity got the old one too. 
got not clean from here to the middle of the next week. Didn't stand a chance. And immediately, the word says, she was made straight, glorifying God. Now, don't re- now remember what that means. Whenever the Bible says they glorified God, that means she testified about what Jesus did for her. But get ready, get ready, get ready. Your adversaries aren't going to be happy that you received your miracle. The ruler of the synagogue, basically her pastor, who, by the way, was cool with this woman, you know, this, this member of his flock, being crippled for 18 years, answered with indignation because that Jesus had healed on the Sabbath day. You know what I mean? Jesus could have formed a planet in front of this guy, and he probably would have said, nope, 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 you can't do that on the Sabbath day. You know? Jesus could, 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 could have created life in front of this man. It's like, no, do that tomorrow. It's crazy. So this ruler said unto the people, there are six days in which men ought to work. In them, therefore, come and be healed and not on the Sabbath. But don't worry about answering them. Don't worry about answering your adversaries. You just keep testifying. Being thankful and keeping your eyes on Jesus. Psalm 6, 9 through 10 says, The Lord has heard my cry for help. The Lord will answer my prayer. All my enemies will be ashamed and troubled. They will turn and suddenly leave in shame. And you're going to see that happen here in a minute. The Lord then answered him. He and yeah, the, the lady didn't have taste. Jesus, like, I got this. He said, Thou hypocrite, doth not each one of you on the Sabbath loose his ox or his donkey from the stall and lead him away to watering? And ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan hath bound, lo, these eighteen years? be loose from this bond on the Sabbath day? I mean, right? It it seems like church is a perfect place for someone to get healed, wouldn't you say? That seems like, okay, that's, that's, there's a spirit of healing that God has in his atmosphere, that Jesus has in his atmosphere here. And it seems like the perfect, that that's the perfect kind of um, atmosphere to get healed in. Amen? And when he had said these things, all his adversaries were ashamed. And all the people, (laughs) this is one of my favorite parts here, and all the people rejoiced. They weren't with that ruler of the synagogue. They were happy. They rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. See that? All the people weren't down with that synagogue ruler anyway. They all outnumbered Jesus' adversaries too all of the people started rejoicing and praising God and being happy for this woman being loosed and set free. And just like this woman, I declare Second Kings 6.16 over all of you today. Fear not, for they that be with us are more that be with them. And if you would like to give your heart to Jesus today and receive what he has for you and be a child of God and walk in power and life and be with Jesus forever I would like to pray with you this morning why don't you go ahead and close your eyes and just repeat after me Father God I believe that Jesus Christ is your son he died on the cross for all my sins was buried and rose on the third day He lived a sinless life so I could be free from sin, sickness, and death. And I receive him and accept him into my heart and life right now. From this day forward, I am a child of the Most High God. I turn my back on the devil, on sin, and my old life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen, amen. And if you prayed that prayer, we want to be the first to to welcome you 
into the family of God to congratulate you and to say welcome to the family of God. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We pray blessings go on you for the rest of your day, and we will see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Listen, we want to give you the opportunity to support the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ to do so. You can visit us online at seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give through the ministry Zell account. The ministry Zell email address is info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the ministry cash app address. The ministry cash app address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also text to give. All you have to do is text the letters SPM to the number 45888 and a link will automatically be sent to you. You can also mail your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas, 75070. And listen, we invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel right now. Click on that subscribe button, and after you do, make sure to turn on your notifications so you will receive these morning prayer broadcasts because we send these out daily, every day. If you're watching us on Facebook, follow us on Facebook. If you follow us on Facebook, make sure your notifications are on, and when these broadcasts come out in the morning, you'll receive them. Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, connect with us. We want you to be a part of our social media family. Never forget me and my lovely, beautiful wife, Pastor Amy. We love you. We appreciate you. We'll never take you for granted. God bless you. We love you. Take care. Bye-bye.